Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how you can implement your own uh, list or linked list um, in C Sharp. And usually you can use a list of, say, strings by just doing this in C Sharp and it's built in. But um, implementing your own and building your own linked lists will uh, teach you a lot. And it's something that will be required if you ever take any data structures courses. So this is I'm just gonna probably be making a bunch of videos on different data structures implemented from scratch on your own. Okay, so this is just our main uh, our main uh, file and with our main method, and we're just gonna be adding a couple of classes in here. So add class. We're gonna want a linked list class and add class, we're going to want a node class. So the basic way out of this is the linked list is going to hold um, a list of nodes and each node is going to uh, hold uh, some sort of data so it's going to hold an object which will represent any type of data we might want to store in it and it's also going to hold a reference to the next node in the list. So basically each node is going to, and we're going to be writing the node before you write the link list, but so we're probably going to want, uh, we might as well just start right here, we probably want some sort of object data, and then we want to have, um, this is going to be the next node that it is linked to, because you know lists are like A, uh, lists are like A, B, and C, this is a single linked list. So A will have a reference to B, and B will have a reference to C, etc. And the way we do this, uh, we'll be able to iterate through it, we'll be able to, to get um, things in the list at certain uh, indexes, etc. So all this is going to do is just going to have these data members, and we're going to have a couple of constructors. So the first one's just going to be blank. We just set both of them to null. Then we're going to have one where we pass an object. And then let's also have one where we pass an object and node. Oops. Okay, and we're probably going to want to be able to uh, basically maybe set the next node of these current nodes, so maybe reset what it's pointing to, or maybe get the next one. And we might also want to uh, say set the data and get the data uh, of this rather than because we don't really want to access these data members. Um, directly we want to kind of hide it from it so we'll use what are known as accessor and get an uh, accessor and mutator methods and there's easy ways to do this in C sharp although I kind of stick to the old basics of what I learned before um, I forget what they're called in C sharp where you can just use getters and setters but um, we're just gonna write actual methods okay so and these are gonna be public because we want to, uh, while well, these are private, so we can't actually access these from anywhere else, but we can do, use these to change them. This is kind of similar to our constructors, it's constructors, uh, the set ones. We just kind of set this internal data type. We're either setting it or we're returning it. And this should be just enough for us to be able to uh, use this in our linked list and really any other um, sort of 
data uh, structure we're going to use, we might have to make a few changes uh, if we use, say, like a doubly length list where there's a reference to both the next one and the previous one. But for now, let's just go ahead and do this. Alright, so what should we do first? What should we do first? Now, if you think about it, we probably need a couple different methods similar to what this list had that we that's built in. So let's think about what we're gonna need. We're probably gonna want some sort of add method. That makes sense. So let's have add um, where we pass an object. We pro probably also want an add with uh, maybe int position in an object so we can add it like kind of like inserting and let's see we're probably going to want uh, some sort of delete or remove is probably better maybe methods that check to see if it's empty or is full now this would probably always return false because we can if you think about it we can just keep adding it till whatever okay now we have remove what else are we going to probably want to need uh, maybe like a replace and that'll have int position object. Alright, and maybe some sort of way we can access uh, ones at certain positions, so like a get entry. And maybe also contains, which will be a bool that returns if we have something in there. And maybe like clear, which empties out the whole list. And finally, uh, get length which is useful to see how many things are stored and we don't actually really need to write a constructor for this because the constructor um, I mean it doesn't really need to do anything uh, and before we start writing the methods if you think about it the length list is it's going to need to store some sort of uh, reference to the first node in the list um, a doubly linked list would need both the first and I believe the last so we're gonna need node head node so this is just going to be the first one because we're gonna have to iterate through each of the nodes in order to do methods like contains and uh, find or whatever we have get entry blah 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 okay so let's go ahead and start with add and um, I usually like to have this return type. It can be void, but uh, sometimes it's always good to return whether or not it has successfully added it or not. But uh, we can you can change that to void if you want to do that. So we have the one where you insert there, and then we're gonna want public bool add object new entry. Let's do the second one first since it is actually uh, a little bit simpler and you notice that I have something with the same name but with different parameters I believe that is called uh, it's either overloading or overriding I'm pretty sure it's overloading when, uh, when you have a method with the same name but different uh, parameters so that you can actually do that okay uh, hopefully I'm right <laughs> okay now this add we don't want to write a bunch of code in here when most of the code is actually going to go into this method so why don't we in this one we take advantage of this one that already exists if you kind of get what I'm saying um, actually we should probably be, uh, hold that thought for a second we should probably write this one first just so I can show you really how it works there okay now let's go ahead and store this head node temp and uh, now I have to make sure that they actually provided us with a valid position so because we don't add it say position 0 because we're going to assume that the list starts at 1 not 0 like arrays okay and we have to create a node from uh, this object they gave us and we're, we'll be using this constructor so next will be set to null data will be set to O Okay, and 
first thing we should check to see uh, we've checked different cases when we add them because uh, adding to say an empty list is much different than adding uh, to say uh, a list with more than one thing in it so and adding to an empty list is pretty much the same as adding to uh, uh, okay <laughs> sorry <laughs> so we have to just check if is empty to check to see if uh, we're going to be adding to an empty list so that means that we have this head node so if it's empty then we'll know that the head node is null okay so uh, oh yeah and this is empty we'll be filling in later so let's just write this in here right now I'll return false just so it doesn't yell at us there so we're gonna be checking if the list is empty and if it is empty so we have to do this new node that actually has something in it and we're just gonna set the next node to temp which we had gotten from head node and this temp is pretty much just gonna be null and now we have to set the new head node to equal new node and what this will do is now uh, this thing right here is now going to be this this uh, node we created from this object passed in and its next node is not going to be itself or is not going to be this uh, head node because we had created this temp so it's just going to be temp which is null and uh, that might sound a little bit confusing but uh, you'll get it and then we're just going to return true because hey we successfully added it alright and actually if you think about it since we're past this position we could pretty much reuse this code say what if they wanted to add uh, a node or added something to the very first position of the list wouldn't this code wouldn't that be a special case and wouldn't this code do exactly the same thing as is empty all right so we can just do or position equals equals one all right we just solved another test case by reusing our code we had from before and if position equals one you'll know there could be a bajillion things past it and we would set the new node to this head node temp that we had so we're just kind of like pushing it in front of it say we had like one here one here one here one here we're basically going here and we created this thing called like f and they're like wait a second let's set its reference to a and basically pushing itself all the way to the front And yeah, we set it to the head node and its reference, so it'll point to it. Okay. And now in our else statement. Okay. Now what we have to do is we have to basically go to find the node at the one before the position we're adding it, because we want to set the reference of the one of the node uh, before the position we're to add it to reference this new node that we have created and that's the whole idea behind a linked list each node references the next node line so we have to basically put ourselves uh, find the one before it and make it reference us and we'll reference the one that that one before it previously referenced okay so we'll just have a for loop and remember it's the one before it so it's going to be position minus one and we should probably also make sure actually I'll do that in a bit so I plus plus alright and we're gonna set our temp that we had from before equals temp dot get next node and I've actually misspelled this okay and remember that this get next node just returned the next node so temp so it's like a B, C, D. So A, get next node will return B, and B will be the new temp. So get next node will return C. C will be the new temp. Get next node will return 